YouTubers, hello, it's Melissa, the Emma Pia Manager of Bespoke Hairstyles. Do you like my head wrap? <laughs> Hilarious. Um, I show you it up because we're going to try and create this now. Okay, and the reason why I laugh is because this is a fluke, okay? But I'm going to kind of go through what I did. The results will be different. So enjoy this one because it's not going to look like this. I am positive. Okay, so I'll bring it down so you can see the simplicity of actually um, how it was created. Okay, so I'm pulling it down from the side. And then I'm unknotting un it, unraveling it. And that is it. Voila. Now, I'm specifically doing this head wrap for people who want part of their hair down. And I think I'll do a couple like this where part of your hair is showing. Okay. So, this is just a cotton cloth. A big cotton cloth. Can you see? Right. Take it to, I think, well, I know, I like the um the bit that um where there was the excess fabric that i played with i want it on my right so you decide which position you want it so i'm working with the fact that i want it on my right so i'm working from my left to my right basically so the white cloth go to the corner which is the left corner for me and um this is what i'm going to be working with initially and put this round your head secure it because I want it on my right and I want um, it to be um, kind of raised to my right, I've slanted it towards my right. Do you see? Now, at this instant, I am just wrapping through my hair. I am just wrapping it. No knotting, just wrapping. Um, let me just show you. I literally have just crossed them over like that to secure them. Right. Wrap them over. Um, so that I can pull through it, right, and then bring the fabric, all of it, over. Can you see? Bring it over. Then try and find the corners of the fabric. That's what I've done, the corners of the fabric, and I am bringing them together so I can create a, a loose, no, a tight, quite tight, secure knot. Can you see? And just pull through until you feel you can pull no more, but don't hurt yourself. Hilarious. Okay. And there we go. Now, once it's secure, this is what you play around with. And this is what I mean when I say enjoy that look, because I do not know how it's going to end up looking, basically. I'm literally just wrapping through. I might do a couple more of this, too. Okay, there, I'm wrapping it through. Um... And then just find a space and I'm tucking it in like that. And that is it. Um, you see what I mean about it looking completely different? That's one. I'm going to do a couple like this. Um, and then I'm going to post, basically. So this is one. Um, stay tuned for the next version of this one. Thank you for watching this posting. Take care of you. Bye. YouTubers, hello, it's Melissa again. Part two of um, trying to create different looks with this head wrap. So I think I'm going to post them kind of back to back. Um, and then you choose which one you like and, and, and try and, and create it. Again, up, pull it down so you can see how simple it is. Okay, there we go again. Again, I show you it. Now, again, I want to try and create the same um, style that I had previously. So... Again, it's to the left. This time I'm giving it a bit more space, other than it, like the last time it was a bit shorter, this time I'm making it a bit longer. Again, I put it over my head. Again, I want it to my right. Secure it to my right. Take my edge, put it over on top, put it over. Pull the other one through. Pull the other one through. You could decide how you want it, but you want to feel that you can feel the edge of it. It has to come through to this side. Make sure it's secure. And then um, bring the back, all of the back forward. 
there we go and then take the edge the other side the two sides and bring them together bring them together so that you can create a knot and you can secure the head wrap in your, on your head so that you can now play around you can even choose to double knot and then this is the bit where you have to be creative okay so bring it through loose so you can have the movement that you want can you see and you want i this this whole look is kind of is dramatic so that is why um i'm using a bigger cloth basically and then can you see what i'm doing it's a bit slanted um, and then I'm going, I've rolled it round, rolled it round, because you have to kind of work with the fabric basically. Rolled it round and then um, find a space to tuck into. So in this instant, I'm tucking it into the front to secure it. Now you can always pin it and then I'm kind of bringing it forward like that. Can you see? There, that's one look. I'm going to do part three. Um, in the hope that you you know you can see three different looks and then you can make your choice which one you prefer you could tr try and change it up and that's it part three coming up thank you for watching this part Bye. Melissa again with this one up pulling it down and we try and create um, a third variation of the style that I absolutely loved okay so again fabric down again from the left side shorter not the center to the left tie it over bring it through bring it through brush bring it through like that take the edges so Hayla, can you be quiet please and tying through to edge by the edges and then knot okay and then bring through i mean you could decide you want to knot again if you want to and then kind of this is where you play around with the loose fabric and basically you you know you can improvise you could decide okay i want it all like that but this is dramatic right that's why i'm using the big fabric and that's it so that you've got variations of all those styles and um enjoy trying them out enjoy trying them out something new something different um dramatic hope you like thanks for watching this posting take care of you Bye. Ah, well, uh, Mono Safel SK, original, uh, official ringer, Adam, lawyer, and it's present.